Bulls Nation, I've wanted to do this video for a long, long, long time now, but I haven't really had and still don't really have the technology to do so at a level that maybe someone else would. But from now on, I'm not going to let that kind of stuff stop me. Today, I want to do a tier list about the Chicago Bulls signings and just exactly how good or bad they, they will be for the Chicago Bulls. We're going to have categories of sections that players will be divided into. And this is just my opinion, and I wish you guys could play along in the comments below. And we'll see what happens with everybody. But without further ado, let's kick this video off right now. Let's do it. What's going on, everybody? It's the Aiden Sports Show, and welcome back to another video. Today, we've got a Chicago Bulls tier list of all of the things that Chicago Bulls have done in this free agency period. We're also going to be doing some of the non-guaranteed players. We're going to be talking about some of the draft the Chicago Bulls have done. But in the end, I want to do a tier list of all the players that we've added into this team from the draft and free agency. And I want to put them in categories and see what I put a lot of these players in the system of the Chicago Bulls and whether or not you guys agree with me or not. And it's very unlikely that you guys are going to agree with everything I say. So it's going to be a very interesting thing. And hopefully you guys can play along in the comments as well. But before we get started, please like and subscribe to the Aiden Sports Show YouTube channel. Turn notifications on and let me know in the comments below your thoughts about all the players I'm going to mention and all the categories I've put them into and play along in the comments below. I really, really wanted to make this video before. It's going to be a little bit different compared to other, I guess, uh, tier list videos because at the end of the day, I'm doing this from a phone. I don't exactly have the technology to re screen record my phone and myself at the same time. I don't have that kind of stuff. And hopefully that's not going to be a hindrance to the video. But I did want to make this video and I feel like it's now or never at, at, at time. So we're going to play along right now. I'm going to start things off with some of the non-guaranteed contracts for the Chicago Bulls. And the, the categories that we do have are Elite, Good Signing, Hidden Gem, Wait and See, and just no. Those are the categories the Chicago Bulls will have. Obviously, no being I don't want him on the Bulls. Wait and see is going to be, obviously, we need to wait and see how he does. Hidden Gem is someone that I find really undervalued and someone that could be a lot better than what people perceive them to be. Obviously, good is a, just a solid signing for the Chicago Bulls. And elite is obviously the best of the best in this free agency period. There we go. And let's get things started. First things first, I want to start off with Matt Thomas. Matt Thomas is a player that is on a non-guaranteed contract for the Chicago Bulls. And despite what many people believe, he brings something to this team that I feel off the bench we may need, and that is three-point scoring. So I'm not going to say I guarantee he's going to play for the Chicago Bulls. It's very unlikely that he will. But my prediction for, or my, I guess, ranking of Matt Thomas is that we are going to wait and see. It's as simple as that. There's not too much to go into in relation. But many people could put him in no, and that's all fine and good. But for me, he's a wait and see situation because if he can adapt to this team well, he provides something that we don't have a whole lot of off of the bench and that we may need in time. So I'm not going to go ahead and rush him into the no category, but for me, it's a wait and see situation. Next things up, we've got Ethan Tom Thompson. Ethan Thompson, Summer League player. We all know Ethan Thompson from the Summer League. He had a great Summer League, and he is also on a non-guaranteed contract at the moment for the Chicago Bulls. When I look at Ethan Thompson, it screams to me hidden gem. He's extremely undervalued for what he provided in that Summer League, and I think he deserves an opportunity just as much as anybody else on this team at the moment, and I definitely think he's a hidden gem type player that hopefully we can capitalize on and potentially bring him in as the final roster spot or maybe even on that two-way contract. Hidden Gem screams to me when I talk about Ethan Thompson. And he's exactly what I, I, I feel a guard should be, that third or fourth guard that can provide a good ton of offense and can play a little bit of defense as well. Ethan Thompson, I believe, can do that. He is in my Hidden Gem tier. Next, things, ne next up, we've got Tyler Cook. I'm going to be straight up and honest. I'm putting Tyler Cook in the no category. And at the end of the day, it's not because I don't think he could be solid for the Chicago Bulls, but I feel like with the opportunities and the plays that we've already been discussing, even a player like Stanley Johnson, who we'll talk about a little bit later, 
I think has more of a of a spot on this team than what I think Tyler Cook could be. No disrespect to Tyler Cook. Again, I'm not a big fan of his offensive game. I think there still needs to be work done in that area. I think defensively he can be solid, but I just feel like there are better out there that we've already been linked to with the Chicago Bulls that we should pursue. So I'm going to put Tyler Cook in the no category. Stanley Johnson, very simple one here. We need to wait and see what's going to happen with Stanley Johnson. He is a player that played very well for the Detroit Pistons. He had to take a back seat to a very good Toronto Raptors team and he took shots that were open to him, but he wasn't necessarily forcing the issue. So he is a player that I can truly see value in bringing into the Chicago Bulls, knowing that he's not going to be someone that's going to force up stupid shots like what he did with the Pistons at times. But he is definitely someone that we need to put in that wait and see category. Again, is another player where I'm not the greatest fan of him, but he is someone that I see more value in than someone maybe of a Tyler Cook type player. But at the end of the day, early time's going to tell. Maybe I can make this video later on. If Tyler Cook has a tremendous preseason and training camp, we can have a discussion later on. But of course, for me right now, Stanley Johnson is in the wait and see category. Next up, we've got some, again, these are now official plays that we're going to go into now. I'm going to start off with Javante Green. Now, many people might say Javante Green was a player already on the Chicago Bulls. Why are you bringing him in this video? I believe Javante Green re-signed with the Chicago Bulls this year. So I'm talking about all free agency moves and the draft the Chicago Bulls have done. And this was a bit of business where Javante Green re-signed with the Chicago Bulls. In my opinion, Javante Green is also a wait and see type player. I would like to put him in a hidden gem category, but I feel like his age at 28 years old kind of takes me away from the hidden gem player because he's in his prime now. There's not really too much of a gem that we're going to get out of him compared to what he already is. I feel like the player that he is now is basically what we're going to see next year and many years to come if he does stay on the team. So Javante Green for me is very simply in the wait and see category and hopefully the Chicago Bulls can maybe develop him and maybe he can become a little bit better than what he is already on this team. Elise Johnson screams hidden gem to me at 25 years old. Uh, Elise Johnson has barely gotten any game time for the Brooklyn Nets and the Indiana Pacers, yet his stats are still very solid for someone that gets very little game time. Five and five with 18 games played with the Brooklyn Nets. Very, very solid stuff. And it's a very similar stats with the Indiana Pacers as well. So I feel with more opportunities, we're going to see that hidden gem develop into something I think that's going to be very solid for the Chicago Bulls. I'm not going to say he's going to be a starter. I'm not going to say he's going to be an above average six man or anything like that. All I'm going to say is that he's a hidden gem and we need to see what we can get out of him. And maybe he might not be the player that we will want him to be. Maybe he might not be the player that we think he can be. But at the end of the day, he's going to have the opportunity to show that to us on a nightly basis for the Chicago Bulls. And until he does, we can change that answer. But at this point in time, he is a hidden gem for the Chicago Bulls. And that's exactly the way that I see it happening. We're going to start with Alex Caruso next. I, I wanted to bring in one of the bigger players that we did sign a free agency. And this is a very interesting one because Alex Caruso, I think for many people, would be put under a good signing. He's a very good signing for the Chicago Bulls. I think that's very simple. I think many people could put that as written in stone. However... I put him down in wait and see. And the reason why I put him down in wait and see is because he is he does have a very large contract under the Chicago Bulls. And we need to wait and see if that contract will match the services that he provides for the team. That's really all. Because if you put him with if you don't worry about the contract whatsoever, he's a very good signing, in my opinion. One of the better signings that we've made. But the contract is something we do need to take into consideration amongst all these players. For example, if Elise Johnson was making nine point something million over the course of four years, then he's not a hidden gem because at the end of the day, we could potentially be overpaying for the player. Alex Caruso is in that category right now where he could potentially be getting overpaid or maybe we paid him the exact amount. And we're going to have to wait and see how Alex Caruso adapts and fits into the team as well as the responsibility he's going to have with this team. And hopefully he could be someone we could see true value under. And there's no doubt in my mind that he could definitely be one of those players that could be moved up into the good category at a later date. Now we're going to do some of the draft players. We've got Ayo Tosumo first. 
I mean, if this guy is in a hidden gem, I don't know what a hidden gem is, ladies and gentlemen. This guy was picked in the 38th pick for the Chicago Bulls. 37 other players were picked before him. I'm pretty sure this guy was one of the players of the year in college. And at the end of the day, it's as simple as that. He's just a hidden gem. He's a player at the Chicago Bulls, a diamond in the rough, a player that in the end dropped so low to the point where the Chicago Bulls themselves were absolutely stunned that he was still available. And they even said that they don't think he would be available. And lo and behold, he was available and the Chicago Bulls picked him up. And this is exactly the type of player that should be put in a hidden gem category. Someone that was slept on, someone that didn't exactly get the favors, the favors from everybody else in the league, but the Chicago Bulls picked them up, gave them the chance, and they have the potential to be a very good player on the team. Ayo Dosumo, ladies and gentlemen, is a hidden gem. Now, of course, with Marco Seminovic, exact same. Marco Seminovic is a hidden gem as well. Second round of last year's draft, I believe. At the end of the day, he is someone that has a load of potential on his back. He's definitely someone that, again, we should be very, very patient with. He's coming in from another country, and these things do affect players. But we've seen at times... The European players often do outplay what we expect from them because their league is very difficult. We always think the NBA is the best of the best league, and it is the best of the best league out there. But the European leagues have become much more difficult over the course of the years, and they continue to develop every single year. So every single year, there are European players getting better and better and better to the point where they can fit right into the NBA. I don't know if Marco's going to be that or not. He's not going to have a whole lot of game time on this team, I believe. But I definitely think he's he's a player offensively, has a lot of potential to him, and hopefully he can develop the defensive game as well. But a hidden gem player for Marco Seminovic as well. The two draftees for the Chicago Bulls, in my opinion, are both hidden gems. Marco was obviously last year, but he's officially signed with the Chicago Bulls this year. Tony Bradley. I put Tony Bradley in the good signing category. We did not overpay for Tony Bradley, in my opinion. He's going to be a very solid backup center. I'm not expecting the world. I'm not expecting, a, a, I guess, a person that is going to break the barriers for the Chicago Bulls, but I see a solid backup center that's going to get more opportunities on the Bulls. I don't see him as a hidden gem compared to maybe someone like Elise Johnson, because I think Tony Bradley did have a little bit more games under his belt, and we do know a little bit more about him. So I put him in the good signing category, because I think he could be a very good backup backup center for the Chicago Bulls. And again, if you guys want to put him in the hidden gem category, that's fine. But for me personally, I see him as a good signing. Derek Jones Jr., another good signing, ladies and gentlemen. I think this is a very good signing. This was obviously the signing trade for Larry Markkinen. I'm not talking about outgoings at the moment. So for people that maybe want to do a tier list of the outgoings, maybe another time. But this is, the, this is the incomings of the Chicago Bulls. And I think Derek Jones Jr. is a player the Chicago Bulls have been looking at for a long time now. Again, multiple years we've been looking at Derek Jones Jr. We finally got the player that I think we wanted from quite some time ago. So I think this is a very good signing. I think this is a signing the Chicago Bulls targeted. And I think they got their man. And there's nothing more I could say besides good signing. Next up, we're going to do DeMar DeRozan, and we all know where DeMar DeRozan is going. I'm going to put him in the elite category, the first player to join the elite cate the cate category for the Chicago Bulls. DeMar DeRozan is the significance of change for the Chicago Bulls. Lonzo Ball was an essential player. We'll talk about him later, later. But DeMar DeRozan was arguably one of the top talents in free agency that joined the Chicago Bulls. We have not had many signings like DeMar DeRozan in our lifetime. And someone that is still at an all-star level that can play very, very well. I think Pau Gasol might be someone you can compare. But I think this is a different breed from that situation at this point in time with the team that we have. DeMar DeRozan, I'm going to put in the elite category, and I think he's definitely someone that still has the game, still has the determination, and has the, I guess, mentality to play with these players, get chemistry from these players, and become that elite player that he's been with the Raptors, and he's been with the San Antonio Spurs, and the team around him is just as good. Lonzo Ball, the final player we're going to discuss, ladies and gentlemen, is someone I'm going to put in the elite category, ladies and gentlemen. Lonzo Ball is game-changing because at the end of the day, the main issues we've had for the Chicago Bulls, Lonzo Ball rectifies most of those things. I'm not saying it's going to be no longer an issue, but it's going to be a situation where those weaknesses become significantly lessened with Lonzo Ball and the team. Turnovers should not be a big 
big, big standing point for the Chicago Bulls next year. And that's the addition of DeMar as well. Defensively, Lonzo Ball, very good perimeter defender in the point guard position where we need that perimeter defending, Lonzo Ball is going to be there. Shooting wise, Lonzo Ball has improved his shooting every single year. Playmaking, we all know Lonzo Ball is a very good playmaker and he has two teams, a starting team where he can slow things down and make the right play, but also a team off the bench where you run and gun and transition and Lonzo Ball suits both of those things very nicely. Lonzo Ball is game changing, Lonzo Ball is essential, and Lonzo Ball is also part of the elite category for me. I believe these are all the signings the Chicago Bulls have made, all of the decisions, all of the moves the Chicago Bulls have made so far. And we can always add new players into this video in the comment section below when we do have more videos or more players joining, maybe leaving the Chicago Bulls. But this is something that I feel is this is the Chicago Bulls team, ladies and gentlemen. These are all the moves that we've made in free agency. So many of the moves and drafts for the Chicago Bulls. And I can't wait to get started with this season because we have a lot of people that have points to prove. We have a lot of players that we see as hidden gems. We have a lot of players that we need to wait and see about. And we just have a lot of players that are good signings overall. I can't wait for the season to begin. And hopefully the Chicago Bulls can stand up and deliver. And this is my tier list for the Chicago Bulls. I really wanted to make this video from quite some time ago, and I'm so happy and excited that I did get to do this. Again, it's not going to be very similar to other YouTube videos of tier list. And I apologize for that. It's just me and my and my iPhone, and that's what we've been doing for two years now. So some videos, unfortunately, don't exactly get um, made as well as maybe other videos, and that's just how it is. But ho hopefully you liked it either way, and I definitely enjoyed making it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new. Have a wonderful and safe day, Bulls Nation. I'll see you in another Chicago Bulls video. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay tuned for more. Take care. And peace.